What is good? We're back. We just wrapped up a little uh, first round rookie mock draft, super flex, tight end premium, full point PPR. We kept that bitch under like 22 minutes too for your pleasure, for the yeah. for the uh, timists. Yeah, the timists. I don't have a lot of time. I need this shit quick. Yeah. Just give me a list. Bunch of just clock give watchers. me a list. Bunch of clock watchers out there. But we, we got the gang back here. We got the Dynasty Theory guy. We got uh, that, fa- that one fantasy Guy, that one fantasy guy. <laughs> That's hey. a Twitter handle, fellas. Yeah, that one fantasy guy. They didn't let me have that fantasy guy on Twitter. Ah, uh, <laughs> AKA Terrence. For those wondering, I had throw, to throw the government out there. <laughs> <laughs> when we got Mitch and JB from the Dynasty Theory. What up? What up, fellas? What's up? What's up? All right. I think my first question, the way I want to lead this off is, is ha- if Anthony Richardson gets first round draft capital, how much higher does he go for, for everybody here? You can go up to the 102 for me. John, I don't need John, looks, I John looks, <laughs> he looks a little I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't take him at 102, but going back to the, if he gets first round draft capital, I think there's a better chance than not that he's like a top 15 pick, let alone just really? a first round. Yeah, I don't see him making pick. it out of the first round. I, I really don't. Yeah. So, uh, again, as it would stand, like let's say he gets that that top 15 draft capital. Terrence, don't jump through the screen at me. Uh, 108 ish, 108. But but caveat here. That also depends on how these other guys are, are going and and their draft capital and and what the NFL tells us about these guys throughout this process. So there's definitely some wiggle room, uh, but I'd be a little bit lower than the seems like the room uh, here. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the room. Yeah, Mitch, I, yeah. Mitch, you, Mitch, you took them. You kind of alluded to it a little bit. What what, what would happen for you? Yeah. So for me, it's. Like he would definitely like I picked Will Levis at the 104. I would flip them immediately without a doubt, and I would definitely probably take him. I would hope to trade down and hopefully not have to take him at the 102. But if that's what I have to do, I take him at the 102 as well. I just think the upside that he could bring, and if he gets that, that means the coach and the franchise is buying into him. And just right now, there is so much potential, and we see how the NFL is going. Players, you know, can't get touched, and if he could give you an extra three to four points a game over, you know, guys like Goff and Cousins and everything else. He's just that much more valuable valuable than all the other guys, especially compared to like even Young, Levis. I mean, they're not giving you those rushing points that you can get get from Richardson every single week. Right. Yeah, there's a we saw maybe uh Stroud in that in the last game that we saw Stroud in maybe that it's possible for him to give you you know mm-hmm. maybe not quite and not and anywhere near what Richardson could give you but he could give you what those quote unquote non-rushing quarterbacks that are crushing in the NFL right now Burrow Pickett not you know Pickett just got wheels we know we're not sure what's going to happen but like basically the new guard of quarterback seems to be as at least athletic enough to give you those hidden yards of 30 to 40 yards a game rushing Trevor Lawrence, mm-hmm. you know, all, you know, all those kind of guys, Dak used to be there now, not so much, but it's been back a little bit. Um, wh- why, why does it go all the way up for uh, two for you, Terrence? Personally, I'm not picking them at two. And that's only because I was burned by Trey, Trey Lance and he reminds me of Trey Lance. So, I mean, I'm going for the safe bet. You know, mm-hmm. but that's just me. I I just can easily see him getting up to one or two because of the Russian gotcha. upside. There's no one. There's no one else in the draft that's going to get the first round draft capital that could even even touch him in Russian unless Hooker get first round draft capital. And I don't, I don't hear anyone speaking about him. So yeah, yeah. I don't think Hooker will make it. I could I can see Anthony Richardson doing it. And and the the thing that you know. I, I've been drinking every time we say draft capital. It's kind of like a trigger word here on the show, amongst many other uh, words. But um, the thing with Anthony Richardson, if he does go in the first round, you know that they're going to stick with him for a minute, right? That's the thing, is they're going to stick with him. And then that buys you time in Dynasty. 
Uh, because you know he's going to flash. Once he hits the field, he's going to show you what he can do. He might It might not be great, um, but it's probably not going to be as bad as Malik Willis if they go and take him in the first round. They think he can process and do a little bit better than what we're seeing from Malik Willis because his value is just shot down. Like Neither of those quarterbacks might not be starting in Tennessee next year. Uh, I don't think it's going to be Malik Willis regardless. But I think if, if Anthony Richardson gets that first round draft capital, you know that they're going to stick with him for like three years. You have a you have a window to get out if you hate what you see, and if you like what you see, right. then then you hold. But if you hate it, there'll be a time when you can get out from it because he's still going to get his opportunities. Mitch alluded to it a little bit. Justin Fields had still had good capital after after a bad rookie year. Trey Lance, fuck, I mean, was going hey. in the second round all last year. Book's not out on Trey Lance. Did, you know, no, he got no. hurt. It's like, not an indictment you know? on Trey Lance by any means that he hasn't panned out. We have, just haven't been able to see him, unfortunately. Um, and one of the one of his four games was a, a mud bath. Like, it was just a, a rain. Like, he hasn't gotten a fair shot yet. I don't, I'm not closing the door on but Trey the, Lance. But the, the draft capital stayed really good. So, to your point, there is a chance to potentially – Anthony Richardson's stock is going to stay high, um, you know, probably throughout the next two years or so, regardless if you see anything great or not. I mean, I think if he gets on the field by proxy, you're going to see at least a few amazing things just because that's kind of what he does. And you, you, there'll be some bad, but those couple of amazing things will probably stick a little more if he's not playing a whole lot uh, than, than the really bad stuff. Plus, I mean, all these other quarterbacks, they all they all have the yeah buts with them too. So I mean, at that point, I'm going to take the the most upside I could possibly get out of my quarterback, and that's what we're seeing right now in in fantasy work. Like the best ones are the guys that are have both of these skill sets out outside of you know Patrick Mahomes, but he's just fucking he might be the best quarterback we've seen all again. You know, we're we're in a goat discussion with 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 Mahomes with the quickness, uh, but no, I, I think. I, I'm, I'm not scared to take Richardson at, at the one two if he if he gets top fifteen top really just the first round I'm I'm pretty much in I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and you know I was I was kind of out on Lamar Jackson I was kind of out on Jalen Hurts and I'm you know I don't I was in on Trey Lance it, that one kind of stings a little bit but I, I don't think that was necessarily his fault we needed we need, he needed this year to be able to play John is there a is there a landing spot that would move him up some you know you would like the Niners I think really helped Trey Lance's value go up and stay up potentially now you know obviously he's got good draft capital and there's some you know mobile component to his game but is there a you know if the Giants drafted Anthony Richardson you know or Carolina drafts there Anthony Richardson is there a difference or you know is there a franchise that would make you move up a little bit No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you hate him. Stubbornness. Do you have? A, is there? Is there a vomit bucket close? It looks like you're gonna. <laughs> no, <throw> I, up. <laughs> I, I, I told you guys. Listen, I have had since since my son has been in school. I have had a cough, and oh. it 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 just it doesn't go away. They're just you know? germ buckets. They're just I just everywhere. Just oh, uh. No, but again, like I, I, I understand. Like the upside is is obvious. I'm not questioning that. I just think the floor, you know, Terrence, you talked about safety. <coughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> you talk about safety. That's not a word that we're going to use too often with Anthony Richardson. Fair enough. Well, he so could be, he could be getting tackled for safety, so that could be. <laughs> that's actually a possibility. <laughs> there you go. So. While all of these quarterbacks certainly have their risks, and let me say, Anthony Richardson, for me, he is above Will Levis. The fact that somebody took him 104 is incredible. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but no, there's not a landing spot that I would look at and say, like, wow, like that really changes things for me. Yeah. Well, all right. So I, I seem like we had a little Gibbs uh, crossfire going on there. I want, want to circle back to that. And then I definitely want to then at the end of that kind of circle over to uh, the Charbonnet being your number two in, as opposed to, to Gibbs, which I think is most people's number two. So um, JB, you took him. It seems like maybe Mitch does is not in the in camp Gibbs or what, what were we thinking there? It's always interesting because Mitch and I co-manage seven or eight teams together. And it's always interesting when we get into the rookie drafts because I know 
depending on where our picks are, there's certain guys that you got to give a little bit. You know, yeah. uh, I know FF Dynasty, you guys, you co-manage in a league with me um, or against me, I should say. <laughs> and there's always that give or take, give and take. But uh, Gibbs is going to be one of those guys that I probably won't push for too much in our co-manage leagues because I know Mitch is against him and I'm going to cough here in a minute. Okay. <laughs> why, why so against him, Mitch? So I'm, I'm not really against him. Like I like him as the running back two in the class, but I'm not sure I like him more than what I like the quarterbacks just because like trying to trade for quarterbacks right now in dynasty is tough because, or trying to trade them away is what I should say. You try to trade away like Wilson cousins, Stafford, Goff, Jones, any of those, no one wants to pay you anything for those guys right now. So my hope is maybe you can get that quarterback that will give you a bump that you could just be happy with for a few years because outside of the top 12 guys, like the rest of them just aren't worth very much. And when I see Gibbs, I know Gibbs is super talented, but he could fall in a position to where he's used like James White was. And James White was like a great fantasy running back, but he was also just the PPR guy. And so I could get running backs in Dynasty. Like I know I could find them. I'm not sure I could find a quarterback that I'm happy with on my teams. At cost, give me cousins over those guys that you're taking early on. Honestly, you know, you talk about uh, the the quarterback landscape more now than ever. Teams are willing to pull the plug a lot sooner on these quarterbacks because jobs are depending on it. And that's how quickly things change in the NFL. You want to look at Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, Zach Wilson. I mean, several of, of these guys are far more highly touted coming out of college than a Will Levis who had one good year and then trash otherwise. Anthony Richardson, who is just question mark, question mark, question mark. But he has the athletic ability, JB. Yes, I understand that. But then then you look at a, a Jameer Gibbs from a running back perspective. He certainly could bust. I'm not saying he can't, but I don't see any of the quarterbacks – they, they were talking about getting bumped up to a top 12 dynasty quarterback and completely ignoring their downside, which is going to bring them below a Russ, a Cousins, a Daniel Jones. I, I think that we're, and I say we, Mitch, I think, Mitch, you're severely underestimating the the potential for them to hit their floor as opposed to a ceiling. All I'll say real quick before everyone else chips in, I'm just going to say that Sure, of course they could fail. But right now, Tua is a top 12 quarterback in the NFL. Are you telling me that these guys can't be Tua in the right situation? From a prospect standpoint, they're not Tua. Tua had a broken hip when he came into the league. And I still would have preferred him over these guys. Yeah, that's just because he's break, other Break his other hip, too, and I'll still take him. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Break well, Tua's hips. Do you see what I uh, think? Uh, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Casually sips coffee. All right. Well, I think I think for Gibbs, for me, it's going to be a lot of the ecosystem that he's in to really maximize and make him worth what he can be. He's there's I don't think there's too many guys who can do what Gibbs can do, but it really to really make him worth what you're paying for him. I, I think some of the ecosystem has to play into that role. Like, I mean, you know. Everybody's always pushing for like Buffalo for a, a running back to go there. I don't want a fucking Buffalo a running back to go to Buffalo. They misused the running back maybe worse than just about any p- team in the fucking league. So it's just it's got to be the right system, even though they seem to be thirsty for a guy like Jamar Gibbs. Uh, it's just no thanks. Like if that happens, I'm just, I'm probably going to downplay some Gibbs a little bit. Um, but, you know, there's certainly some places where he could go. I don't necessarily can't name one off the rip, but if he could get. Like oh, an Eckler like any, usage. Any Shanahan, now we're McVay, talking uh, ex- like any of those branch offs yeah. of teams where they could get him, where they can stretch it and get him out wide a little bit. Work they they do well getting players in space. I think it would be like, oh my god. But I know a popular mock draft spot for Gibbs has been Denver, and I don't like that at all. <laughs> I mean, Sean Payton wants to use him Sean like Payton. Alvin Kamara. I mean, shit, I was. I was watching some Gibbs, and they had asked the, yeah, the running back coach. But still, uh, he gonna have to split with Wilson or uh, Williams. Javante, yeah, yeah. right, That's why yeah, I don't like yeah, him. for sure. But I mean, that would mean that they're kind of like not feeling Javante. The I would Dolphins, think. yeah, I would love the Dolphins. Spot. But the, the Dolphins, Dolphins don't have a pick till the, the Dolphins don't have a pick till 
uh, late in the second round now. They don't have a first-round pick. I mean, they can, move, they can make a move, I guess. Um, Terrence, you, you said you had Charbonnet as your RB2. Why not Gibbs? What, what, what? Y- y'all made all the reasons for me. <laughs> you, just, you just said everything. Guess what? I can drop Charbonnet, whatever, and he's going to be fine. I, th- I, th- I, I agree. I, agree. I can drop MacGyver anywhere in the world. He's going to be fine, and that's Charbonnet. I don't need a particular place. I mean, or, or, Gibbs need, need to be on a yacht. <laughs> out in Miami <laughs> with the, <laughs> with the, I mean you you need all these to happen look, look we drafting pre-draft right now mm-hmm. pre-combine it, I'm just looking for safety right now and this is a man like I said all around back and I'm going for this guy I mean if you want the Ferrari that's cool but right now I'm in a zombie apocalypse a pop, whatever you, how do you pronounce Zombie it? Zombie apocalypse. apocalypse. And, <laughs> a, yeah, yeah. And, and I want a tank. I want a tank. I want a Humvee. You got a I GMC a, Yukon. I want to with, bust through with, every zombie there is. Yeah. I don't want Bulletproof uh, glass. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. I like it. I mean, I like Charbonnet a whole lot. I want to go up to JB because every time Charbonnet's name came up, it's been a, it's been a, I don't know. He's over there looking for the vomit bucket. Is yeah. that what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the, what's the beef with Charbonnet? I have no issue with Charbonnet, but uh, to hear him as a running back, the running back two. What about the running back three? Yeah. That's where it could get interesting. And, and I, I will say, you know, to Terrence's point, I think there were a lot of things with Zach Charbonnet. He's going to be one of those guys the NFL loves. And I, oh my God. <laughs> He's he's got a three down skill set and he's ready to roll. I, I, Listen, I agree I, with that I, point. Ready to roll. In my, in my defense, I warned you guys that I'm hacking up oh, a fucking lung over here the last two days. I'll take a hacking up a lung JB over no JB. So sure, you know, I don't. You're good, yeah, Mike ask, Muter ask, too. Ask, ask your viewers are going to be like, what the fuck is this dude doing? <laughs> coughs for mi- coughs per minute. Is that what they said on your uh, <laughs> on the Patreon show I was listening to? recently where you broke down that uh that that spreadsheet jb's got a great analytical spreadsheet i want to get you on and it was for another time we need to dive into that thing because i got some questions um we need answers. answers we need answers i'm, just, I'm trying answers. to trying to normalize spreadsheets i'm thinking about making a t-shirt it says normalize spreadsheets have a little excel thing on it i don't know what do you think why no. why charbonnet why charbonnet I hate what's that. the beef with charbonnet i ain't wearing that <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said there's no be- – like, I, I think he does a lot of things very, very well, but – What thresholds is he not meeting for you there? I'm trying to find – He's old. Some- Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> he can catch. He can run. He's built. I mean, he's a big boy. I mean, good luck. Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a draft with a bunch of small kings at a lot of positions, and he's he's a big fella. And I mean, I don't think the speed's bad. I mean, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I mean, is he is he the most laterally quick guy? No, but the the pass game work is is really solid. I mean, his hands are natural. He's not going to go out there and run you a bunch of Jamar Gibbs like routes. But out of the backfield, he's he's a fucking problem. You got to make sure you know where he is. You can put him out wide. You can put him in the slot. You can run him out of the backfield and just simple route concept. And he'll catch it. It, it. You know, you watch a Zach Evans and the hands aren't quite as natural. You watch a Charbonnet, those hands, those things are, are smooth. Buttery soft. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good All target right. market share. Good receiving market share. I know you love those. He's things, re- see, see, you got, I mean, he's really, he's scrolling just, over there. Just, he's stumped. No, I'm, <laughs> I know as soon as I start talking, I'm going to cough. So All like, right. they're projecting I don't think him to I've run actually off. answered one question. Because <laughs> I like. I'm sitting here coughing, sweating, losing my fucking mind. Over what here, what was the first? What was the first pick? One of y'all didn't like. Well, who who was the first? Levis. Levis. Will, Will Levis. <laughs> I do not like <laughs> Levis. Why? So uh, JB des- described him as one okay year, and the rest were trash. What what's your what's your beef with Levis? Someone someone said one good year. They should have said one okay year. That's what they should have said. <laughs> And and the justification for Levis is uh, rushing upside, and he's not he's not terrible. He's going to get first round capital, right? I mean, that's basically. I mean, in the rush, in the rushing upside is not that big. It's, it's okay. He didn't hit my threshold. He okay. 
he, he okay with Russia. But here's here's the thing. I I have a lot of marks, like a quarterback and hit. Like you know when I'm when I'm doing a profile, he didn't hit any, none. And the last quarterback to do that who's starting in the NFL is Daniel Jones. So unless you tell me he's going to get Brian uh, the ball. Um, to leave the Giants to help him out, I'm out on him. I'm, I'm, I don't trust him. He, he I, I, I can't see, I can't see him being successful in this league. That's just like it would blow my mind if he is. It, we, I'm at that point. I won't own a share of him. Strong in a strong in a wet white tee though. It's that physique. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Eats bananas with the peels on and mayonnaise in his coffee, man. So it's so many red flags. It seems like if Mitch wasn't here, where would, would Levis have fallen further for you guys? Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have taken him in the first. You wouldn't have picked him in the first. He's not in the no. first for you? <laughs> no. So there, there is a, another a, a multi-universe where, you know what? Levis would have had some balls and would have went to accepted the senior bowl invite, went down there, killed it, and then earned the right, you know, to be picked, to be um, chosen where you're supposed to be drafted at. That 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 was another universe, but he's a punk. <laughs> was, is he injured? Is that Was that the why he didn't go? Hen Hooker was at the Senior Bowl, and he was injured. Yeah, all right. He's, he's a punk. He didn't want to go <laughs> compete. You know, I, I guess he didn't want to mess with the draft capital because and he wouldn't have because I was there, them quarterbacks – Look trash down there. There was inaccurate. I, I, it was tr- there was trash. <laughs> so he would have stood out. He, he already, You know what? He could have just went down there, not throw one single ball, and got in like you said a white tee, wet it up, and he would have been better than the quarterback they had down there. <laughs> so listen so- at the, uh, let, listen at the end of the day, guys. We're talking about a quarterback that shouldn't that couldn't beat out Sean Clifford. That's just what we're saying here as well too. Well, that's back to the Penn State days, and we we got the the Penn State guy. So, what what would what would be the first skill position guy? That, I mean, I think some of you guys are saying Gibbs shouldn't be in the right place. What, what's the order of the the wide receivers there? Do you like the Wait, the, the Addison? Go ahead. Uh, one more thing on Will Levis and Mitch. I can't believe you didn't bring this up. The mayonnaise and the coffee thing. <laughs> Eats a banana psychotic. with the peel on. It's psychotic. He's psychotic. Red John, flags, you don't eat sure. hamburgers. We can't take like food. I had a bad you, experience in sixth grade. Okay. You don't need a, a cheeseburger. No, no ground meat. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> wait. So what do you wait? So what do you get when you go to Pramani's? Ah, man, this is gonna. <laughs> what do you get? What do you get? The fi- what do you get? The fish. I get the bacon, egg, and cheese, no slaw or fries the on it, and I get the fries on the you side. Go order that shit on the strip and see what happens. <laughs> go order it on the strip and see what happens. They're going to laugh your ass out the door. They laugh at me, but they still let me get my food and pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> What's the proper order of the wide receivers for you guys? At least the first three, anyway. Well, I'll go because... There's a wide receiver right now that I I have not given given the pass to yet. Okay. And you know everyone giving them a pass, and I, I'm just not there yet. I, I love me some JSN. Uh, Addison is certified, but but this this Quentin Johnson cat. Um, yeah, there's some question marks for me. So he's gonna need to go to the combine and kill it. Kill it for me to get on board. I think you can board. put that in the bank. I think he's going to do I that. I think he will. Yeah. 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 And and once he do that, then it'll open my eyes and I'll feel fine with that. But as of right now, it's like you know what? I'll draft the mother two all day, and I you know I don't mind not give. I mean, everybody's in love with him because he's he's you know an ex. So you know, he, so he but he has ex to gonna give it to you and kill it because I didn't see the separation on film. That was just me though. I didn't see the separation. Do I look for an um, wide receiver on film? Yeah, I mean, I think he's going to be the first one off the board potentially, and because he does, he is the big, the big outside guys, and this is a draft with without a lot of those. Um, and he's he just flies for his size, right. you know, and but the yak. We we kind of talked about it here, and we said, you know, we we really liked the run after catch ability. Just 
Speak for yourself. We re- I Jason and I really like that. I think you I think him. you do. I think you do too. You, we all really like the run after catch ability. And when, when he has the ball in his hands, he's got it. He's got a little nasty to him, and he can make you miss. But like whilst ball not in hands, a little soft on on kind of what he's doing out there. Um, and with the contested catches, he doesn't he doesn't always attack the ball. He deals with drops. It lets it get in on his chest. And 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 in the contested catch frame, he, he isn't as physical as you'd like him to be. Uh, sometimes he is. Sometimes he, he goes up and makes wonderful, amazing catches, and sometimes he just lets the guy overpower him when he shouldn't, when he's that big. But you know the the DNA and and the ability. He, no, you can't teach what he has, and and he seems like there aren't any you know character off the field issues. And when he gets in there, and this is his only job, like I think he can be refined and coached and molded. Um, but he is a bit of a gamble. It is a bit of a of a home run swing you know if you're trying to get a double that's probably not the, the first or second wide receiver you should take but if you if you're looking for a home run if it's like a cheaper league or you want to diversify because you got a shit ton of them like we all do then i definitely got to get some quentin uh, M- mitch what and, do you got and i don't want i don't know i don't want anyone because i'll i'll get critical on players and they'll think i don't like them i do like his film i, I really do um but I also like Josh Down film and, you know, so yeah. I, I love Josh Down film. So, you know, at this point of time, if sure without the combine, I don't, I don't mind going Josh Down. That's just at the moment, you know, now if Quentin Johnson go out there and get the kind of speed score I need and just go out there and kill the combine, he'll jump up to my number three. I doubt, I doubt he's going to break into my top two. Mitch, what do you, what are you thinking over there? Yeah, for me, it's I think this happens with a lot of rookies is there's going to be someone in the league that just likes him more than I do. So while I, I'm completely fine with him going at, you know, the 108 where he went there, I just I'm very certain that there's going to be someone who's going to like him more than me. That's either going to trade ahead of me to get him. I'm not going to be trading up to get him. I do worry about his drops quite a bit, especially the contested catches. And just like Terrence was saying, I'm like, I'm not saying I don't like the guy. I think he could be an amazing NFL wide receiver. It's just, do I like him more than everybody else in the league? And the answer is probably going to be no. I mean, I'm probably going to have a lot more guys I like. And honestly, whenever we get the draft capital for the running backs, I guarantee you I'm going to like running backs a lot more than I like him. Yeah, I think that's fair. JB, what what do you – or Mitch, before we move on, mm-hmm. is you Addison – JSN, you got a preference yep. or are they kind of no that they're even whoever would follow me, I'd be more than happy with. I mean, maybe one gets a better landing spot, so I end up moving them up there. But for right now, I'm I'm just splitting them. I'm happy with it. JB. Yeah, Addison's my wide receiver one right now. But uh if, if I can move within that tier and get a little extra something, uh that's the direction I'll go. But with the depth of this wide receiver class, especially the top eight to 10 guys. I, I know this is a cop out answer, but if I could trade down from a position where I would take somebody like a Quentin Johnston and I could get a Josh Downs plus that's value insulation and uh, splitting up the higher end assets. So, yeah, I think this draft is a perfect opportunity to try and trade back a spot or two uh, and pick up some extra equity, because I do think there's going to be, like you said, Mitch guys in your league that, have to have a certain guy you know they love this guy for whatever reason and you'll be able to find someone that wants to move up you, now how far you, you have know, to move back you know you know which guys in your league like those kind of archetype of players so you can archetype you know, you is can, that how you say it i don't even know how to say that word Ar- archetype it's archetype <laughs> you I'll can drink to that you you know which guys like like want to take dk metcalf type play you know yeah the, the, me the, the big tall it, fast I guys i mean so um so it seemed like Will Levis was was the mm-hmm. the first guy that nobody liked. Is there another guy in the first round that you guys wouldn't take in the first round? Mine's Sean Tucker right now. I just I really don't think the NFL likes him as much as the fantasy <laughs> community does, the Twitter community does. I mean, but th- this is something that I do. Like I try to really stay away from fantasy Twitter and dynasty Twitter this Smart. time of year and just pay attention to what like the NFL guys are saying. Yeah. Not the saying that they're any better at saying this guy is good or this guy is bad, but they are talking to teams. They are talking to their friends in the league. And then they'll be like, oh, hey, but if Sean Tucker's name is never brought up, that's something to be really worried about. And I mean, we're only 
what, two months away at this point before the draft takes off. So yeah. that's my worry for me is just, you know, maybe he's the running back six. I mean, in this class, that's a very easy case that could happen. And if that happens, there's no way I'm going to take him in the first round. Which uh, which running backs are up there for you right now that we would maybe be in place of Tucker? I think NFL wise, I think if I'm saying this, I always a chain H R. I always want to say arcane just from, you know, watching the show on Netflix. But I think a chain, I think someone's going to fall in love with him. I think there's going to be a team that no, I can't remember the Giants wide receiver that got overdrafted, but fits perfectly with the Giants last year. Second round, Wandale Robinson. Wandale. He shouldn't have gone the second round, but they took him. And when he was on the field, you could flat out see they have a plan for him. I think A-Chain is that same kind of back. There's going to be a team that's like, we know what we're doing with this guy, and they'll take him. I just don't know if there's anyone that's going to be like, Sean Tucker's our guy in the second round when there's 10 other running backs that you could probably draft the same. But what can A-Chain do that Sean Tucker can't do? <sighs> He's so fast, man. So fast. Sean Tucker is so fast. Well, he is, but he's not a chain fast, more than likely, right? And a chain does the quick returns as well. That height adjusted speed score is probably better. Uh, uh, speed score. <laughs> yeah, we love the speed score. Uh, What's for you, JB? No, no, nothing. Terrence, what are you? I'm just, what are you I'm, just, I'm, just try, I'm just fighting to stay alive. Over yeah. there. <laughs> is there is there some other running backs after Charbonnet for you? Was Tucker in there or so what? Oh, the surprise running back for me when. When I started seeing this guy hit the different marks and I just need him to go to the combine and kill it like I think he can because he already have numbers coming out of high school that blows me away. And that you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Israel Abani Kanda. I think that was, that was pretty guy. good. Yeah. Is he? Abani Kanda. Yeah. yeah. Abani Kanda. Right here. He, he he can be the truth if he goes if he goes and kills the combine. I think he would be a big riser. Like he, he got a lot going on for him. All right. Riley was a big fan of him after this, after the Shrine Bowl. Yeah, He's talked to me a lot about him. I feel like it seems like all the running backs are very similar. I think they, like everybody kind of has Charbonnet maybe up near the top of the next group outside of. Uh, Bijan and Gibbs but then after that it's just it's like it's Evans it's Tank it's Tucker it's A-Chain it's you know it's Abaconda it's you know it's just it's all over the place and and the draft capital again I alluded to it earlier I think is going to at least settle some of that out a little bit and there's going to be you know McIntosh could be somebody who gets thrown up in there that nobody's really given any love to or you know Roshan Johnson Roshan Johnson Vaughn Chase Brown what's that I don't get it who's that Someone is going to have to explain it. Roshan Johnson. People, there's there's people on other networks <laughs> that's trying to push this guy up, and I want to know why. I, why. I think it's probably pedigree, size, weight kind of deal. I don't know. I can't tell you for sure. I haven't gotten there. Where where that's why we only did one round of this because I can't I can't I can't get in there and really tell you how how strongly I feel about the next group of guys. Mid February. Um, well, you were at the Senior Bowl. How did he look? I mean, he obviously he broke his hand. I mean, the, the man only came out there like one day and broke a hand. I mean, <laughs> I mean what are you hand. proving to me? I I'm looking for you, and you you prove you can get injured the fast. I mean, <laughs> his hand. I mean. I'm yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, but they, they do. I mean, old, uh, old Mel Kiper seems to really like him. So, which, which that may tell you that there is some NFL teams saying that they like him. So, you know, that's kind of what you got to take from the. I think Mitch hit that pretty well. You got that's what you got to kind of take from those guys is that they. And I'm, and I'm not saying the man is trash. I mean, I like this film a little bit, um, but it's just like he didn't hit that many marks, and it's hard to hit that many marks being a backup running back. Sure, but you know if. If you that dude, you gonna want to go somewhere and be that dude. Right. It, 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 that's just how I feel, you know. Yeah. But it, it is a weird situation. It's weird that you wouldn't try to go somewhere else. But somebody must have told him that he could get okay. Well, maybe he exactly. turned down several hundred thousand dollar nil deals to stay there. Maybe, but that wouldn't be a wise choice for him. Mm. <laughs> don't don't be taking oh. a shot at Zay. Yeah, I'm you, not. I'm not. I'm not taking a shot at Zay. That was taking a shot, a shot at Zay. At Zay. I'm I'm not, like it. No, I don't like a, it. That was a shot at Jay. Who has so, to bring it up every time we talk about him? So would 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 of note everybody? Is anybody leaving Zay Flowers off the first round? I need the draft capital. That's all I need. I was always a fan of Zay Flowers 
it just um you know i i was um flabbergasted when uh uh he only went to the shrine bowl it was like if you're that whoa, talented whoa, why whoa. are you at the shrine whoa. bowl I don't get wow, it. We don't despair. Well, we've the already bowl we've here. already seen the, the character and that he turns things down. Maybe the Shrine Bowl asked him first. Yeah. Maybe it's that simple. You know, yeah. he's, he's a man and of high character. I'm with you though, <laughs> Terrence. But he he also was like the best player bar none. At what the Shrine Bowl too. I, I could have told you that without even watching anything at the Shrine Bowl that he was the best player going down there. You know, you you she should have been his behind at the senior bowl and challenged himself. Getting tired of these boys that don't want to see competition. Mm. You mm. know, that, that's what I don't like. You small and you don't want to see competition. I'm feeling some type of way, Zay Flowers. I'm gonna give him his flowers. I'll keep him in the first. All right, let's <laughs> let's. Who would be the next couple of guys off the board in your guys' opinion in the second round here? Uh, JB, uh, I feel like you've probably got some strong opinions here and coughs. Yeah, I'm, I'll try to keep it short. But uh, guys that we didn't talk about, uh, tight end premium, certainly Michael Mayer should be up there. Uh, Josh Downs, Jalen Hyatt, uh, A-Chain. Uh, I know Terrence, uh, A-Chain gets you a little riled up. I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> hold uh, hold it, real quick. What, do you, what What's the Josh Downs love? You what's the like Josh Downs now? hate? Hate, hate, hate. I think he plays to his size. I don't. I, he falls down if you breathe on him most times. Um, I question his um, his physicality. Um, he's going to be a slot receiver in the NFL. I just don't see that. Just he's not up there for me. He's not in that same I think tier with a flowers. lot of people are feeling that you could get a discount Addison with Downs. Well, then I think those people are wrong. That's <laughs> this, this is how that, I feel. That's why we do this. All right, any who JB you you. You got downs. I know Terrence, whoa, whoa, you're also whoa, a downs whoa, guy. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, that was our phrase that Bad poorly. phrasing, yeah. Phrasing. Uh, it's just a cough. But, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him laugh. I, I can't. If I laugh, I'm going to cough. Uh, Terrence, uh, what, what, what was your uh, downs uh, affinity? Well, each year he got better. Uh, I liked his... Um, I seen that he got separation on film, good route running, always got open, got the yak that I like, punt returner. I mean, I just don't like that he's only 175. I don't like that, mm -hmm. you know. But as far as uh, he hit my production mark that I like, so, I mean, he works for me. He, he fits my model, so that's, yeah. that's, that's why I'm on him. You look at everything analytically, uh, you know, Terrence, you just mentioned being able to separate – Last year, 15.52% contested target percentage in his final year. That's certainly well below the threshold that we want. Um, college dominator, breakout age. He's going to come out there and run a low 4-3, most likely. Um, yards per team pass attempt. Uh, uh, receiving market share. Early declare. But that size could be a concern. But in today's NFL, we talk about the game changing. We don't need that certain, uh, how would you say it, Casey? Arch archetype? Archetype? <laughs> Archetype. Archie, Archie Archie type type. Manning. We don't need Archetype. that Archetype uh, you know, to, to be successful in the NFL. So I think this is the first time that Terrence and I are seeing eye to eye tonight. But I'm <laughs> sign me up for Josh Downs as well. But, yeah, those are my guys that, that uh, I'm looking at here end of the first going into the second but again we're sitting here in february so much can change sure there there is so much well, it's, it's going like, to change in in two weeks when we get the combine and then it's going to change some more at the draft hey this is just for the people on youtube who want to click on a mock draft in february <laughs> like this Let's you know go. what i mean this has no yeah. bearing like like we're, we're all figuring it out but this is just a piece of the puzzle the next couple of events that will happen in the nfl are really going to set the stage and then it's time to put you know knuckles to the ground or whatever i don't know if that's I, a phrase but <laughs> and i think knuckles right to now, kneecaps I love, I love all we all just kind of go by that jay's like making up his own phrases over there but there you could look at like 109 to 210 212 and realistically you could make a case like we probably talked about 20 some guys tonight that we said oh they should be going in the first round there is depth in this class um and, and it's, I think, really going to make these second-round picks that much more valuable come rookie draft season.
Yeah. Aren't we talking about that year over year, though, about how people undervalue these second round picks? Yeah, and I think then, like I know for me, last year, uh, you know, draft capital certainly blows up a lot of that. So then you might say like, okay, I'm really good down to 208. And then after the NFL draft, like eh, maybe that's 203 or 204. But but this year, Matt, this year, we really mean it this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, do, it does seem like the at that least, 24 class, though. It really, oh, man. It really does seem it really does seem really, really deep. And yes, that could, the, the pool could get shallower after the draft and after the combine. And it may well. But you could also have a couple of risers in there that, that kind of mitigate that. And I do, it does seem I think you're I think that was an accurate statement. You could go from, you know, 109 to 209 and, and I think have a, a pretty hefty discussion about who's where. But Mitch, what would uh, what would be the next couple of guys that, that would be in there for you? I think definitely we're going to see a run on the tight ends in the early second. So Don Kincaid is right there for me. And my favorite thing to say about Don Kincaid is like he was the second best tight end on the Utes. You are like, from Utah. Yeah, he's like the the only reason why he was drafted is because Keith got injured, you know, early in the season. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't even be a top like round five pick or whatever. And then like the thing that I'm going to love, I've talked to John a lot about this. Darnell Washington is going to be the ultimate tape bro against analytic bro fight that we're going to have because it's like he didn't do anything analytically, but like how he's built. Dudes aren't built that way. And so just seeing like, and he's going to go high because the NFL is going to fall in love with him. And then you're going to have the analytics guy absolutely killing him. And the tape bros can be like, but no, watch the tape. So I just think early, mid second, we're going to see all of those tight ends off the board at that point. I don't know. I don't know about that because when it comes to tight ends, like you give me any kind of production pretty much. You know, it's hard to get any kind of production, and he beats the threshold for me. That's what I think, but John over there. Yeah, you know. Who's that, Kincaid or Washington? Washington. I like Kincaid. I like like Kincaid, too. Is is there a South Dakota guy? Is is, is, Is he in the mix? And then an Oregon State guy? Is he also in the mix for tight end there? Is that no? Are you just saying random colleges now? No, no. That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out who you're talking about. Uh, let's see. I like Sam Laporta out of Iowa. Mm-hmm. Wow, and Iowa tight end. Uh, Kincaid, Utah. Tucker Craft is the South Dakota State kid. See? And is there a Musgraves uh, or something? Uh, along now, the way? Oregon State, Luke Musgrave. Look at me. Look me, at me. Fuck what you heard. Uh, Payne Durham, Cameron Latu. I couldn't there. find a um, film on Musgrave, but, you know, he 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 did show that he had the speed um, during the Senior Bowl. He got practice. some he got some love at the Senior Bowl. Yes. Um, Terrence, who 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 would be some other guys for you uh, at, uh, to to round this out with uh, the, kind of going into that second round? Um, I don't think I think we mentioned this guy named one time, but he he's not getting the love, and I think the NFL love him. And once he get the draft capital. You know, uh, and that's Tanks Bigsby. And he had a down, down season. But I, I, what I, and I don't watch college ball like that, but I keep hearing his team was trash. Everything around him was trash. He was, he was making something out of nothing, you know. So, you know, what I seen on film last year, I, he killed it. Like he, he, I fell in love with him after I seen what he put on film. I think he's special, you know. So, Unless, unless in between that season and now that he has some kind of injury, I don't know about when he actually get get to a team, you know, a decent line, he's gonna kill it, you know. So, I talked to to you guys about the uh, during one of the mock drafts we did, or uh, you know, one of the guest spots. But Tank is a guy for me that he's gonna be. Like I like Tank. I have him on a Devi roster, but I think he's going to be one that maybe I like and maybe you like Terrence more than the NFL does. And I hope I'm wrong. I maybe I'm just being. I don't want to be too overly optimistic with some of these guys, but I I do like Tank a lot. But uh, it's certainly a situation where we talk about Sean Tucker in that trash in Syracuse. It wasn't much different with Auburn this year. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't got quite a tank, but it seems he again seems to be in that. Well, I think the thing with Tank is he came out hot that freshman year. He had that great freshman year. He was having an okay sophomore season, and then this past year with Harson was just a giant dumpster fire in Auburn because the whole they their quarterback play was absolutely awful. I, there wasn't much to speak about anything. You didn't think it could get that. worse than Bo Nix, and then it did. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. Then they couldn't even get guys to even complete passes. So. Um, but yeah, I think I think Bigsby's someone who's concerns me that he I wouldn't I don't, I don't know if he regressed per se if he regressed or just his situation around him deterior deteriorated and that caused his decline in counting stats. Yeah, I, I think I for, will say for De, for Devi purposes, Jarquez Hunter there in Auburn. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like him a lot. Um, yeah. And maybe I'm just some like closet Auburn fan all of a sudden. I, I don't know, but <laughs> I like Jarquez. So I like the shout out of the tight ends there. I think they should definitely be in the mix for the next four or five picks for sure. And and maybe even one of them gets capital and you like it and you like to get, maybe trying to get the advantage at tight end and you take him 112 uh, in, in the last spot. Maybe you're the best team in the league and you can afford to take the swing on, on the tight end to get production because it's a spot where you can gain a mismatch. Um, but I think Zach Evans, you know, oh, for sure, he could he's, he's pretty natural runner. Maybe some um, character concerns, but but you know I think he could easily be up in the first round or easily be at two five. I, I think you know as as could a lot of these guys that we're uh, gonna go through here. Uh, I think a chain's very interesting. We haven't seen a guy with that frame and size really come into this NFL and be the most useful. Um, but he does seem like he has the good chance to be an outlier um, and 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 be productive again. But probably gonna have to be. You know, a committee, which is most things that we're looking at these days is a committee anyway. And, and he's got I could see him, him being frustrating for being like you're, you're plugging him in and he's he's getting you two, and you take him out and he gets 15 and, and you, you keep playing that carousel with him. And maybe a guy like Deuce Vaughn, both very talented guys. Uh, be interesting to see what the NFL kind of makes out of them. Uh, Tillman is kind of interesting. He's, he gives you that bigger size speed combo uh be interesting to, he was kind of a darling there for a little while and then fell off with the emergence of Hyatt it would have been interesting to see what they could have done with a full season you know this year um and anybody else you guys are, are that's, Hutchinson that's who's gonna be going in the second round Hyatt what's if, that that's who's gonna be going in the Hyatt. top of the second Hyatt yeah I'm, I'm I'm very unsure on Hyatt I haven't gotten there quite yet um He's I mentioned him earlier you capital. did you did as you I was, you probably didn't hear with all the coughing, but I think I got a Hyatt out at it was some it. point. <laughs> <laughs> Very, yeah. Now, Hyatt, yeah, I mean, I, I, Hyatt's, I, it's just, I'm saying it to death. I feel like all these guys are going to have such a high variance in between leagues of, of who likes what and who's picking where. Um, Hutchinson uh, from Iowa State, he's another guy who's got some size, and, and some people seem to really like him. We'll see what we do at the, at the uh, combine here, but you guys got any other... Any any other guys that you would be kind of putting at the up in this mix? Boutte. We didn't even Boutte. Boutte. Oh, we didn't talk about. about it. We didn't talk <laughs> oh, about. Ty J. <laughs> we didn't talk about Ty J. Spears. We didn't talk about Kendra Miller. Spears. Um, Spears is getting a lot of love right now. Yeah, Miller, and, yeah. yeah, Miller. A name draft that, capital. Yeah, he, a name that I, only, I. How you okay. gonna feel if you want to get fourth round draft capital? You feel you'll feel the same. Oh no, then he's dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> if he if he gets if he gets third round capital though is is Fire he, him up. Does oh, he so, move? oh so he's the last pick of the third round versus the first let, pick let's say of the he's let's round. say he's the first pick of the third round <laughs> I don't even know who has it so before you get at me in the comments um you know at, at me in the comments well, Spears Fine. history Spears, would say that it's probably the Bears could Spears jump up to a first round pick at any point if he gets high enough capital probably not a first round pick but if he does go day two my next kid that I have. Tajay Spears might be invited to be the godfather. I'll tell you that. <laughs> He's got to check I some boxes like for you. Spears and he was showing out at the Senior Bowl. I, I do like Tajay Spears. Yeah, they 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 really like. Wasn't him, Hutchinson at the Senior Bowl? He was, but he didn't do much. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, Rashi Rice. You know, oh yeah, yeah the Senior Bowl didn't do love. much. You know, but you know he he could be in there. So it's just you got anybody Rashi else? Rashi Rice. Yeah, that's a great drop right there. Uh, probably a pretty good value later in the second round. I just want to double down on Zach Evans, you know, like in terms of 
pure rushing standpoint, he's probably like the second best rusher in this class. I mean, he's just phenomenal with the ball in his hands and, and the talent that he has, whether he can put it all together. Uh, I don't know. There are some red flags. I don't know if I necessarily agree with them all, but they're there, and we'll see how the NFL feels about it. But he could be a guy that you get at a discount or maybe you have to take a little bit of a gamble on, but i got to get some Zach Evans in how, my life. How much sure. does character concerns play in? Well, now we'll, we'll wrap it up after this. How much do character concerns kind of play into these guys for, for you? Any you know, We'll start with Mitch. No, I mean, if the NFL drafts them, I mean, then I'm okay with it. If they, if the NFL isn't going to be worried about it, their team isn't worried about it, then I'm not worried about it at all. But, you know, the NFL's dumb in those ways. I mean, they won't draft someone because they play too much video games or whatever, when that's just what today's day and age is with kids growing up. So if the NFL's okay with it, so am I. But if someone drops down for, like, significant concerns, then so be it. But the NFL's already decided that for me. JB? I agree with Mitch, and I think, and actually, we a lot happened when you had your technical difficulties because uh, <laughs> Quit Darius Geis. Up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Darius Geis came up in conversation, and if you remember during the NFL draft, he kept slipping and slipping and slipping, and everybody, including myself, were like, "How how is this happening?" And then it came out well, there were some character concerns. Well, we saw how that played out. So I think, just like Mitch said, the NFL is going to give us more of that information. And as much as we think we know as fantasy and dynasty analysts and and managers, we're not behind the scenes. So there's always that extra layer that we don't get to see. So we can watch all the film we want. We can have all these fancy schmancy spreadsheets. And I love my spreadsheets. I I keep them close to me. Uh, But there's stuff that we don't know and it's not going to show up on film or the sheets. Yeah. I mean, you can try and find it. You can read articles. You can try and find things that teammates have said and coaches have said, and you know, you can read as many articles as you want. You can watch interviews. You can try and poke and prod, but it's, you know, we're not behind the scenes. We can't see it all. And there's going to be things we don't know about, but we all know people going to our people going to their birthday parties. That's what I was just going to (laughs) say. People, Terrence, how does it weigh in for you at all? Or, or so, uh, Nobody said Boutte up here, so it's got to weigh in for some something, no, right? No, I, mean, I, I mean, I it doesn't it doesn't really weigh in okay. for me. I only had one player that you know I said I won't own him anywhere once I seen a picture of him, and uh, and that was the Paul Hernan Award winner in 2019. That was Lynn Bowden. I seen a picture of him, and he had a tattoo on his face. I'm like, dude. And he did it like right before he got drafted or something like that. I'm like, dude, I, nah, you making you making some some weird decisions right now. I'm just gonna leave you off my dynasty team. <laughs> and, and, and see that, that that worked for me. That on that Mike Tyson me. shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you already got to be real good to put a tad on your face. So you know? so Boutte didn't really get brought up here just because you don't like what you, anybody saw numbers thresholds. That's that's kind of that's it. Or was yeah. it the he hit the marks for me. He he's lower for me as well. But again, some of the additional context, uh, how much of it was the the poor quarterback play there this season? Uh, you know, missing some games. So of course, you look at it from a, a market share perspective. He had a fantastic freshman season, and then he kind of hasn't really done all that much since. And then we talk about character concerns, the off the field stuff, the rumors that have been circulating the, in the bedroom but, stuff. Yeah, exactly. What was that? The in the bedroom stuff. Do you, do you guys remember the uh, WWF wrestler Val Venus? You remember that guy? Hello, ladies. ladies. <laughs> I, I love, I love the, say, and the who train. I do want to say this. This is my, this is pre combine. Of course, how I feel about Boutte. If he goes to the combine and kill it, and he's actually six feet tall, it changes for me, you know. He's gonna go up a little higher for me, but I, I need him to follow through with those steps. So, yeah. Oh, another guy we didn't mention. Sorry, I, I gotta say it. Parker Washington. Sorry, Parker Carry Washington. On. Carry on. The old Penn State alum. There. I named my son after him. D- you did not. My son's name is Parker. I didn't know if that was intentionally named it after was him. Not directly. intentional at all. Been. It was not intentional. He was recruit when he was born. So. All right. Who well, was the quarterback for Penn State? Because I put Clifford. in my. 
knows Clifford? that he could have been better with a better quarterback. <laughs> yeah, he fucking could have been better. You think, he, Terrence? He, he you think? Been better. You Who think? Sean Clifford. Sean, he's oh. 105, Sean Clifford. <laughs> his son's name is not Sean. I was just looking at his film and I was like, man, that. They sure could have put the ball in a better place. <laughs> just wait till, just wait till next year. Just wait till next year. They got, they got a five star, right? Oh yeah, yeah. real excited about my boy Drew. Old Drew. 2025 class. Penn State's gonna have three first round draft picks. Calling mm-hmm. it right now. Just mm-hmm. remember I when the 24 remember, class was good, but that 25 class. <laughs> remember when Christian Hackenberg was a first round pick? Yeah. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, he's so good. I have his jersey. All right, boys. Well, we'll have to bring this back around when we when we get through the combine and and see how we feel and, and do another one of these. See who goes up, who goes down. Um, let's start with JB. Uh, we appreciate everybody, of course. Uh, tell us where to find you. Plug plug your stuff. And again, we appreciate you guys. I have to I have to believe that this is how it felt when Jordan played in that flu game. <laughs> You know, uh, that uh, that's the only comparison I have. But no, this is an absolute blast. Uh, always appreciate you guys having me on. Terrence, it was great meeting you, man. I was dying over here. I was cracking up. You're you're a funny guy. Um, uh, you know, find me on Twitter at the Bauer Club, Dynasty Theory at Dynasty Theory FF on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we got the Discord, the YouTube, the Patreon, all that good stuff. And then I'm stuck with uh, the gentleman below me here. Uh, pretty much talking every single day. Yeah, the dude never leaves me alone. But I'm at Dino MC. It's you know it's a pleasure to be on. Uh, like we all love talking about this stuff, and it's the best time of year. My wife was just saying like, "Oh hey, Super Bowl's over. It's gonna calm down now." I'm like, yeah. "Oh no, you should know by now. Just this is getting the better, fun babe. part." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Terrence, what, what, where can we find you at, man? I'm on Twitter at that one fantasy guy and you can find me you know i i don't be super active but every once in a while i like to throw my little hot takes out there you know tout my players because it what a camera what i was on Jaden reed before anybody else there's other people just jumping on the bandwagon but before there was a senior bowl week i said he was the best wide receiver going out there but and then you can find me on youtube um that fantasy network so check it out i'm assuming he didn't disappoint you at the senior bowl he, he, he did not i mean he didn't he, break he, his he hand was real casual he though do real anything. casual yeah all right all right well again we appreciate you guys make sure you guys go check out all that great content that those guys are putting out um we are obviously the ff dynasty we appreciate you guys like subscribe all that jazz five star review five star review all of the above, uh, and we'll be back with more rookie bro files and, and all sorts of mock drafts. And like uh, Mitch said, this is uh, we've only just begun for your pleasure. Peace. I need a can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, we appreciate yeah. you. I'm looking forward to uh, chatting again soon.